What's going on guys, welcome back to my personal channel, welcome back to another video for you guys. Of course it's Chelsea vs Tottenham in the weekend, so I had to get my boy Sam from We Are Tottenham down. What are you telling me man? I'm good mate, how are you? How are you doing bro? Good, I've been looking forward to this one. Well, I mean, I don't know about looking forward to, but I'm excited to an extent. It's going to be, it's going to be a good game, top of the table. Yeah, any pretty. small predictions, we won't go too deep into it. But what um, I, think we can get, I think we can get at you. I think we can definitely attack you, and I think if we stay resolute in the back, why not come and get a result? Mm. But look, both, both sides on are in the form of their lives at the moment. And, exactly. And it'll be a tough game. It's never easy to go to Stamford Bridge, so our record there ain't too good. Um, and we'll have to wait and see. It'll be a really, I think it'll be a tight game. Exactly, and both of our teams are doing amazing this season, which is why this combined eleven is going to be very interesting. Before we start, as usual, guys, if you haven't done so already, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, press the bell notification button as well. Don't forget to check out We Are Tottenham as well. Their links will be down in the description too if you guys haven't checked it out. And yeah, before we start this combined eleven, we're going to throw a disclaimer out. We don't have to agree on every position. <laughs> we can try, but if we don't, it's cool because both our teams are doing amazing this season. I'm going to be holding back on a lot of positions. I know you're going to be holding back on a lot of positions. So, yeah, we don't have to agree on anything straight up. But start off, formation. What formation are we going for? Um, I'm happy to go with a 4-3-3. 4-3-3, cool. That works for me as well. Let's start in goal. Edouard Mendy has been amazing this season. So is Hugo Lloris. I think in, since lockdown, his form has been, and his injury, his form has been nothing less than amazing for both France and Spurs. Um, save from Ruben Diaz at the end of the City game, he's just been fantastic. I know Mendy has been too, but I don't think Mendy's been that tested. But I think in the last few games he's been a bit tested um, more. It, I just think have, I just think you have to give it to the French cap, the France captain, the World Cup winning captain who's been in fantastic form recently. Um, that's my argument for it. But here's my thing: without Edouard Mendy, I don't even think we're near this top four race right now. Really. It's, it's I'd be willing to sacrifice the goalkeeper position for another one, uh, for a different position further forward. Um, different, but wait, how far forward? We'll see, we'll see. I, I honestly, I think both are really good goalkeepers. Obviously, one a lot further along in his career than another than the other. Um, both current form superb. So it's a difficult one, really. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, goalkeeper's cool. I think we can leave goalkeeper because both of them have been yeah. in good form. Um, we can go to right back, which I think is going to be another tight debate because I'll be real, I don't see how Doherty or Aurea moves Reese James out of there. No, I see. I, whilst I'm happy to let you have Reese James, I think he's great. I do think that they both our right backs have been good this season. Doherty slowly, Definitely. Getting, Doherty slowly getting better and obviously learning a new, essentially a new position because he's been used to playing that right wing back role at Wolves in the five. Mm. Um, to coming to playing a four at Spurs and being that right back and not getting up as high as he normally does. Sergio Rie has played twice, I think, in the Premier League this season, both against the Manchester clubs. He won 6-1 at once and scored, and drew, uh, drew and won 2-0 on Saturday, and it was immense. And had, uh, had uh, Ferran Torres in his pocket, Sterling came on, had him in his pocket. Um, uh, he was just so good defensively, and almost set up a goal as well, which was ruled out for offside. So... I, have, I do think Rhys James has been superb as well this season, so I will give it to Rhys James, but our right backs have stepped up massively compared to last season. Yeah, again, no discredit to your right backs, half your team as well. Yeah, Let's be so real, we'll guys. Get... Top of the league, as much as I'd say, we have to give them the props for it. There, I've said it once, I don't have to say it again. Let's move on to the centre backs, and I think one of us is definitely going to be fuming out of these because. Uh, you're going to want to put both of yours in there. I'm going to want to put both best, of mine in there. We've got the best defensive record in the league. How yeah, our defence has been ridiculous this season as well. If yours is best, ours must be second best. Or I, I don't know. I think it actually might be Arsenal who's second best because they just can't score. Uh, yeah, I mean, when you put 11 men in a double-decker bus behind them. Oh, well, yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, but Eric Dyer and Toby, especially last weekend, were immense. They have been. I think Dyer has been great for England as well. I think Toby has been was superb against England for Belgium. Um, I think they've both been fantastic under Jose since Toby came in and they formed a great partnership. Um, I, yeah, I, I don't. I, I also think Zuma has, whilst I think he's got a mistake in him, he's been scoring goals. I'm sure he's top of the league um, for like interceptions, aerial duels. I think you'll find that's Pierre and Milpoy, yeah. I'm sure. Okay, you know what? I'm going to have a look here. I'm sure it's Kurt Zuma, you're sure it's Hoiberg. But we'll I, put, I'm going to leave a link in the bottom as well if I'm wrong. Uh, I just it. think, I, I don't mind. I think, 
I think both. I, I just think well, both our centre backs for the first time in a few seasons have been so so good. Um, but how, how how are we picking this? We've got we've kept the clean sheet at Turf Moor against Man City. Um, we conceded a penalty at Old Trafford. That was it. Um, the Pretty goal against Brighton allowed. should have been disallowed. The last minute penalty against Newcastle, which wasn't a penalty. West Ham, all right, okay, we fell apart in the last minute. That would never happen. That was that's a wanton. That one, that's what Is we, it? Um, they, I mean, give Lanzini that shot ten times. He'll, he'll no, I, I just mean the Spursy moment in general. I well, think you. Learn, I think we learned from that. But other than that West Ham game, I don't think we've conceded. I mean. We conceded that Bryson goal, which should have been a foul on Hoybier. You've conceded like um, three West goals. Brom, we kept the clean sheet. West Brom, we kept the clean sheet. Um, so we've looked really solid at the back, just like you have. So again, it's a tough one. But it's your channel. Um, so here's the thing. I already know Tiago Silva's walking into this one. Okay, okay you know I, what? Say I was going to... I, I, say gonna... I say he's coming in with a walking stick. But... Yeah, cool. Keep those words for Sunday. That's cool, that's cool. But... um. And you know what, just for that now, I've got a bit more tribal. We've got Kurt Zuma and Thiago Silva walking into this one. Let's go into left back. Oh, wow. Okay, left, left back, back. Sergio Regulon, it's not even up for debate. You spent £50 million on someone that Leicester don't even care about. And he's uh, still been brilliant for us, though. Regulon has been the best left back in the league by a country mile. Assists, clean sheets. Here's the thing. Unbelievable. Assist against you, against you in the cup on his debut. Assist, winning assist against Brighton. Um, was fantastic. He had re- Jose Mourinho brought him a ham because he didn't what? let react. Have you not seen the picture on Jose's what? Instagram? He brought him a ham, a five hundred pound ham for not letting Mares dribble past it. Uh, a five five hundred yeah. pound ham? What? You look it up, Ben. Why ham? I mean, that of all, does he like ham or He's Spanish? Here we go. There you go. What? Okay. Um. So Here we go. Show it to the camera. Just yeah, to I'll, I'll play it off the top. Okay, fair play, that's a massive piece, but cool. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it to Regulon, only because I do think for left back, anyone else but Alonso or Emerson, and we're more or less fine. Plus, we play more of our attacking play through the right hand side, so I'll, I'll give you the left hand side. Right, thank you very much. DM though, N'Golo Kante. Oh, yeah, I mean, the stats talk for themselves. The same thing with Most Angola passes Kante. in the league, most touches in the league, most successful passes, most interceptions. And that's Kante, I know that's um, Kante. It's not most interceptions and cat Kante. Again, Kante's Ben, if you can look that one up for us, if we can get the most interceptions. Most interceptions and most tackles, I'm sure it's Angola Pierre, Kante. At uh, three million pounds, Pierre and Mujoybier has been nothing short of fantastic. Uh, He's been amazing for you guys. No slander against his name. I think the it's same way Angola Kante. The team Kante. top of the league have to get priority at some point, but I've given you right back. I've given you left back. back. Oh, that's very kind of you. I mean, right our centre-backs have been balling, it just is what it is. Yeah, you didn't even give us one centre-back despite the best defensive record in the league. Mm, Gerald's attacks, it happens. You're always going to be defensive with them. What have we it got is, over there? Uh, but... Can't is talk. Is Mate, it? thank you. I, I prefer not to By speak. How, how I speak much? in facts. Um, how much? I can't see where... <laughs> <laughs> Can you not find Moiberg? Matt! Okay, so cool. Are we going to have N'Golo Kante? Oh, you can have Kante. Yes, but Hoybier, yeah, I think, has been the better defensive midfielder. He's been a great DM, but also N'Golo Kante has to rule this world. Um, attacking eight now. So, who have we got? We've, We've got, got two more midfield positions. Mm. Uh, well, I mean, one of them. One has to go to Kai Havertz. What? He hasn't scored. Has he scored? Or well, maybe even Mason Mount. I don't mind you giving it to Mason Mount, but Kai Havertz at 90 million quid, has he scored a Premier League goal yet? 62 million. Has he scored a Premier League goal yet? Is he a forward? Has he scored a Premier League goal yet? Is, is he a forward? He, he's a, how many did he get for Bayer Leverkusen? Is he a forward? He also got a lot of Bayer Leverkusen's goals towards the second half of the season, so please, the patient game. Uh, I just don't see how someone who hasn't scored a Premier League goal yet at £90 million, and I don't care what you say, it was £90 million, can, 62. can be in this team. Okay, so who would you put in there then? Mate, I would, I would, I'm happy to let you have Mason now. I just don't want you to have Kai Havertz. I don't think that he. he then who would you put instead? What? As in. Who would you put in that midfield spot? I, I, like I said, you can have Mason Mount. I think he's been really good. This no, no, time. Mason Mount the one. Then who's in the Either Ndombele or Lo Celso. Lo Celso? Scored against City on Saturday within 30 seconds of coming off the bench. I also heard he didn't start against Man City. No, he didn't. Mason Mount didn't start the other night, the other day. But yeah, he did. Against. Um, Reds? No, I'm talking about. Um, the game before Newcastle, he was on the bench. 
Mm, again for Newcastle. Came to the bench in Sheffield. Was it Sheffield? Did you Sheffield United 4 1? But Lo Celso has a no, footballer. No, no, Havertz was out, self isolating. This was Mason Mount never comes out the lineup, bro. You already know. My point this. is, one of them, Dombe and Lo they're both amazing footballers. Mm. And, and Dombe has been fantastic this season. Yeah, so is Kai Havertz. And Dombe has, Even has, if he and Dombe has midfielders on much. strings. Tommy has midfielders on strings. The drop of the shoulder. I mean, that, that pirouette where he sets up the goal at Southampton. Where he sends Oriol Romeo and Ward Prowse for, for a hot dog or four. Um, nah, nah, I, I can't see Kai Havertz dropping out of this Sorry, nah, He's been amazing. And mate, has he even got an assist? Yes, he has. He's no, I'm been, sure about he assists. He's also been amazing. Also amazing. Do you want to clarify that? Too? He has not been amazing. He has been absolutely incredible for us. Your, expectation, the season, your expectations have gone massively down there. Nah, man. I already amazing. Knew he, I already knew he needed that little journey clear. He's been past that. He's been amazing. Havertz has one goal and uh, oh, so one assist goal. in the Premier League. So he has a goal at one least. Goal, I mean, all right. But I still think uh, you can choose Mount or Havertz. It's got to be a Dunbelay. We're gonna go for Kai Havertz. I could argue Sissoko. I could, gonna... I could argue Sissoko here. Oh, <laughs> Kai Havertz and Dunbelay. We're gonna have that because I, I can't take it, and I'm also right. I can't be bothered for the comment section if the I. The front three itself. picks itself. We, we, I mean, we've got the best striker in world football. Kane and Son have to be in there, that is fine, but Timo Werner has to be in there too. You can find your way to put Werner in there, but you can have Kane and Son, I'm fine with that. I I'm not even going to debate think Gareth Bale should be Oh, there. don't even start. Don't even I, start. Gareth, what do you mean? He's, he's four Champions Leagues, a few, a few La Leagues. How many were with you? Not the point. How many of Kai Havertz? What? Like, you, you're just contradicting yourself. What do you mean? You guys, how many do you want? You said Kai Havertz scored all these goals for Bayer Leverkusen and scores one for you. So what? Automatically gets in this. I've said Kai Havertz has been amazing this but season. You've been talking to me that Gareth Bale should start because he's won four Champions Leagues. Yeah. No, much. I'm not having that. We got Timo Werner in here. I'm happy. To Timo Werner takes about eight chances to score a I goal. I am happy to give you. Even, oh, do you agree with that? What? He takes eight chances to score a goal. I can't lie, his conversion rate is a bit jarring. But he still look, he still gets enough goals. He gets one of them in per he's game. Quick, so that's about it. He's quick, that's You all would still would have taken him. You probably Over still would have taken him. You've been playing him on the him. left. You've been playing him on the left half the time. I've taken him. Because we've had Tammy Abraham playing. I think he'd improve, right. improve our bench. Wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. You've got to have Timo Werner in <laughs> No, he scored twice life. against us, to be fair. He scored, he scored for Leipzig. And he yeah, scored, he did as well. He scored, he scored in that cup game. No, I, I take that he's a good footballer. I'm the only one you are. But I, I do think Bale should at least get a mention. I mean, he is Gareth Bale at the end of the day. I think. Once he shows up. Well, he's really scored. Yeah, but still. But then your Kai Havertz argument is the same. He scored one goal as well. But Kai Havertz has had amazing performances. Kai, all, you can tell, all you can tell me about Bale is that he scored once against Everton and that's he it. He scored against Everton. He scored a header against Brighton. Scored okay, so he scored against Brighton. He's, been decent. Quality He's getting sides. better and better every time he plays. Yeah, it's, and, and I said, until I see it, he can't come in. I, until I, uh, why? Don't, don't say until you see it from Werner because we'll no, get it. Until, Havertz, until I see it from Havertz. Same argument, but cool, you'll see it on Sunday. I know he ain't because he's going to play on Sunday. You're going to start. Definitely. Only because he's been, only because he had COVID. And yeah, it's self isolating, but he's coming back. We, the whole thing's been warming him back for this game as well. But yeah, we're going Timo Werner left, Kane and Son. It's a very Chelsea based team, considering they're not top of the league. You're not top of the league. I mean, you don't have the best we're getting record. there. We're getting you there. Still, have you still got the best, uh, the most goals scored this season? Yeah, most goals. Yeah. Okay. It was us at one point. Uh, it, it was. You got, if you're in the future, you also uh, would have been top of the league, but... Yeah, I mean, we'd be four, I think we'd be four or five points clear if we didn't capitulate against West Ham and drop That's what this entire season's going to be, though, who makes the least mistakes. Exactly, I think those results might come back to haunt us. Um, it's always a good laugh doing this, but I just think... <laughs> I can't believe you... I can't believe that you put so many Chelsea players in. I mean, Chelsea-based channel was going to happen. I expect the same energy on We Are Tottenham TV as well. So good luck cool. Good luck convincing Ben about... Hey, it's cool. Players. It's just about who's more stubborn, so... Good luck. I'll let you have it because hopefully my, the boys put in a performance on Sunday. Uh, massive, massive game. If we come away with three points, then wow. We yeah. are in one hand. Yeah, if you lock three points on the bridge as well, that would be crazy for you guys. But yeah, we'll roll through the starting 11 quick. 
We didn't pick a goalkeeper in the end. You got to reach the goal because no, um, no. the French winning, one the the French other, World Cup winning captain is in goal. Yeah, what was um, his best memory in that final? I saw he was doing a cap. I don't really, think, I don't really think he cares after lifting the trophy. Yeah, probably if you does. Ask him, but if we're still going to talk about him. individuals, if then you, yeah. If you, uh, if you ask him if he cares about making a mistake in the final that they won by four goals, you know, scoring four goals, I'm sure he won't mind. Probably um, not. Right back, right, we had Reese James. Centre backs, we had to go for the both Chelsea ones because I am arrogant and salty like that. Sorry, but we move the two with the best defensive record. Don't get in somehow. Yeah, because they won't be the best defensive record on Sunday. That's why. Right. But we gave them the left back. We gave them Regulon. Um Ngola Kante DM with Kai Havertz and Tangi and Dombele in midfield. Sorry guys. I'm, but, I'm more shaking my head in the fact you haven't got Mason Mount. I think he's been so much better than Ah, Havertz. trust me, it's been it's been more Kai Havertz. But we had to go with Timo Werner in the left and attack, but Kane and Son have to go in. I'm not hearing any slander on it, it has to be like that. But yeah. yeah. That's the thing, are you worried about Kane and Son? Definitely, yeah. like I'm not I'm not Harry Kane's got getting shook Harry about Kane it. turned into like the, the striker that he is, Zidane and Maldini all in one. Yeah, he's ridiculous. He, that link up with Son is crazy. Um, but yeah, Sonny as well is an absolute fire. Seems to score every time he touches the ball. Mm. Um, so it'll be, it'll, be inter- it'll be a game, a bet game of cat and mouse, I think, on Sunday. Score prediction? I'm going to go 2-1 to Spurs. And I definitely think Sonny's going to bag. Um, I think Kane and Son will both score, yeah. Okay, interesting. No, you know what? I think Kane will set them both up. And okay. I think Son will get them both, and I think everyone on fantasy football will be very happy. Okay, cool. I'm going to go 2-0 Chelsea because I do want to see us have a dominating performance against the top six side. Also, a side that's playing as good as you guys are playing, so I want to try and back my boys I for a 2-0 win. I think you'll have the ball. I think you'll have a lot more of the ball. Yeah, but that's the way Jose likes it, so that's not going to make me I any think, more confident. I think, we'll hit, I think we'll just wait, because realistically, you will attack, you won't sit back. No. And I think there will be spaces on the break. But Jose likes that. Um, Jose likes that. If we can, if we, it will be. We we have to be perfect on Sunday to get a result. I we know that. We have to be perfect. If we aren't perfect, we won't get a result. It's it's as simple as that. But let's hope that let's hope. I can only hope. Mm. Um, but yeah, guys, if you like enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe to We Are Tottenham TV. All their links will be down in the description below. Check out Carefree Lewis G again, like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Take care and up the trails. Come on you Spurs.